Well, my name is uh, Vincent Vadez. I'm a crop physiologist. I'm working for Icrisat. Yeah, I mean, I'm based in India, but the work I'm doing is, uh, well, I mean, sort of dealing both with India and Africa. Mm. My direct involvement is, I mean, as a PI of, um, of the Grounded Objectives. Uh, more uh, specifically, my own sort of discipline is to work with, uh, I mean, the drought-related aspect of, of crop improvement in Grounded. I'm uh, David John Bertioli, and I work at the University of Brasilia, and I work in close collaboration with Imbrapa in Brazil. We're in Brasilia, which is a, uh, it's a savanna type vegetation, so it receives a uh, wet season and a dry season. Um, but the most important thing in, uh, about Brasilia, uh, in terms of the project, is that it's in Brazil, and it's at the center of diversity of uh, wild peanuts, uh, that is relatives of uh, cultivated peanut that grow naturally in the savannas and the vegetation of Brazil and neighboring countries. I'm Soraya Lialbertioli and I work at Embrapa in Brasilia, Brazil. Tielon has been very important for, for me personally and our group uh, in Embrapa. We collaboration with universities uh, in Brazil. Yes, uh, my name is Jean-François Rami. Uh, I work for CIRAD in France and I'm a molecular geneticist. Uh, my f main focus is on sorghum but I work also in, on, on peanut. Okay, my name is Daniel Fonseca. I work for CIRAD. I'm a molecular geneticist too, and I work on peanut. The work I do is based in Senegal, where I'm, I'm working in tight relationship with the, the peanut breeding program in Senegal. Well, the landscape and the climate, or I mean, we work on the semi-arid tropics, so I mean, the environment characterized by uh, a short uh, rainy season and, and a long period of drought, and so that tells a lot about the constraint. Drought is, is, is one of the most important ones. Drought is a very complex trait. I mean, it's a, it's a complex of traits. It's not one trait. So, and unless you're exposed to it, you don't quite realize it. Because you, you know, for the lay person, drought is a leaf sort of wilting, and you know, until you get to know, get to the bottom of it, you you, you see a lot more than that. The, the area where the real peanut is growing in Senegal is a very um, dry area. We have about uh, 30, uh, 300 millimeters of of of, of uh, rainfall per year, and we, we really need uh, peanut varieties that are adapted to this uh, condition that is very marginal. So as I mentioned, the uh, wild peanuts are South American. They only occur in South America. And, um, but peanut itself, the cultivated peanut, has a massive importance uh, throughout the tropics. So uh, if you consider uh, Asia, for example, uh, you might think that soya bean was the most important uh, legume. And, uh, but in fact, peanut is just about as important in Asia. It's it, just about the same amount of calories is consumed uh, from peanut as soya in Asia. And in Africa, peanut has a massive importance. If it's actually uh, more important than all the other legumes put together. Peanut has a uh, limited importance, economical importance in Brazil. It is growing, and we hope to grow even more. And um, but you can see where it's really important is Asia and Africa, where it has a very important for for um, sustaining population, for keeping people from hunger in some places. Peanut is a, is a difficult crop to work with genetically because it, um, it has a very narrow genetic base, um, it has very little um, DNA polymorphism, that means it's, it's difficult to work with in terms of markers etc. Uh, that's a major difficulty uh, which we got round by using the wild species. Um, and um, also of course you have the normal difficulties of research in terms of population development, it, it, it all takes a lot of work. Uh, but um, uh, we have managed to make very substantial progress through uh, the first project that we, we got approved and subsequently in TL1. It, we, we live in a 
a different world of peanut research now than we did uh, in 2004. It's, it's scarcely recognizable. I mean, there's this general obstacle which is uh, which are the constraints that we are we are attacking. I mean, drought is a, is a major obstacle. Uh, in in how to sort of make progress on those obstacles. Uh, well, I guess there's the, the complexity of the different environment in which we work. We work across uh, three regions. I mean, India, West Africa, East Africa, with different partners. Uh, different partners having different skills, uh, different expectations, uh, different backgrounds on, on the constraints that uh, were addressed in the project. And so I guess the first obstacle has been to, uh, I mean, to, 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 to bring everybody on board uh, and to bring everybody to sort of work on a common, um, on a con common objectives. And it's not only about three, uh, three regions, but it's about uh, even other partners in the in the project, uh, I mean, uh, belonging to other regions, partners in South America, partners in, in, in North America, mm. uh, partners in France, partners in Senegal. Mm. Uh, uh, so it's, it was really about sort of gelling and, 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 and sort of trying to sort of uh, put all those different people and partners uh, working in, in sort of same direction. Mm. This was quite challenging because we had we had to go fast, and and, and uh, the systematic integration of of wild uh, um, of wild genes into into cultivated peanut had to make use of marker technologies. So we had some challenge in integrating the breeding in Senegal with with the use of markers in in France, but uh, finally. It, it worked quite well. My main involvement in this project was to to integrate wild alleles in cultivated. Okay? And my experience uh, was with we 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 often saw that it, it will be difficult and it is not possible to achieve good um, germplasm when using wild relatives. But um, with my work and the work of the team, we now have good confidence that um, integrating wild allele in cultivated peanut could could be very benefit thing for the the for peanut for the cultivated peanut. Mm -hmm.